Welcome to Banff National Park. Good morning from Banff from Tunnel Mountain 1 campground where we stayed last night and look at that that view behind me look how pretty that is so yeah pretty cold this morning a little chilly uh, but it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day we're going to do some driving through the park there's a um, uh, a couple of scenic drives that are recommended maybe some small hikes we might do those as well but yeah we're just going to kind of relax and uh, enjoy the day and hopefully see some beautiful scenery and maybe hopefully some wildlife too and uh, yeah, and then um, Friday, yeah, fr a couple days from now, I'm going to go uh, to Moraine Lake, which is supposed to be, um, you've almost certainly seen pictures of it. It's uh, one of the most spectacular views, lake views in the, in the entire world. So excited about that. But uh, yeah, so ready to get this adventure going here at Banff National Park in Canada. Let's go. Stretching 143 miles 230 kilometers, the Icefields Parkway connects Lake Louise to Jasper National Park. This iconic drive offers stunning views of glaciers, alpine lakes, and towering peaks through the heart of the Canadian Rockies. The parkway remains open all year, although winter can bring some special considerations. So we're driving the uh, Icefields Parkway which connects Banff National Park to Jasper National Park, which is north of Banff. And behind me, um, if you can see that, it's pretty bright here, but uh, we'll get some more footage of it if you can't. But that's the Crowfoot Glacier, which is like clinging onto the side of the mountain. And uh, it's, I guess, claws look like a, a crow's foot. But um, in, uh, you know, Sadly, this glacier has been uh, receding dramatically, and I guess just um, uh, like in the 60s, so, so down below there's a, a lake, which will be our next stop, and I guess uh, back in the 1960s, the, the glacier's um, claws, if you will, went all the way down almost to the lake, but now they're just barely hanging off of the cliff uh, up above, so uh, I guess that's... Uh, climate change, global warming, uh, whatever you want to call it. But um, anyway, yeah, so the glacier is definitely much smaller than it was just a few decades ago. And I guess that's part of the, the world we live in. All right, so Crowfoot Glacier here on the Icefields Parkway, a stunningly beautiful drive between Banff National Park and Glacier National Park. No, excuse me, Banff National Park and Jasper National Park in uh, Canada. Just 22 miles north of Lake Louise, you'll arrive at Bow Lake, conveniently located right off the highway. It's the perfect spot to stop, stretch your legs, and make a cup of coffee with breathtaking views. If you're up for some adventure, you can fish, canoe, or paddleboard on the crystal clear waters, making Bow Lake a must visit stop along the Icefields Parkway. Next up is the stunning Peto Lake, just a short hike from the Icefields Parkway. Famous for its brilliant turquoise color, this glacier-fed lake offers a breathtaking view from above. Shaped like a wolf's head, it's one of the most iconic and photographed spots in Banff National Park. So this unbelievably beautiful lake behind me is called Peto Lake. And if you look, it kind of looks like a a dog's head there at the end i'll try to get some footage of that but just stunningly beautiful we've got mountains and glaciers behind us and this is off of the um uh the ice fields highway between banff and jasper national parks and so there's a parking lot and about a i don't know 700 meter um walk along a paved trail to get here so it's really easy uh plenty of old people plenty of young people plenty of people who are out of shape here so but definitely worth a quick walk to see this beautiful uh, beautiful lake with a nice overlook here and uh, along the Icefields Parkway so 
so we made it to uh, Jasper National Park up the Icefields Parkway and uh, Jasper was was completely closed until just recently because they had some pretty severe wildfires there this summer um, but what we're looking at here this is the Athabasca Glacier and this is a remnant from the the last ice age uh, when you know Canada was completely frozen over uh, but this glacier is um, it's receding uh, rather quickly. And where I'm standing right now, you can see the sign. This is where it was at in 2006. And they say that it's, um, it's receding about five meters per year. And as you go down the, the road, uh, they have signs posted every so often. And then like, I think I saw a sign for 1942. And it's about, a, I think at least a mile away down the road. And as you walk up, you walk up basically the glacier's path and it's just a bunch of uh, uh, rubble, uh, gravel that the, that the glacier pushed down when it was coming down uh, during the, the ice age and now as it recedes it just le leaves all this rock and rubble here. So um, pretty fascinating to, uh, to look at it and see how, um, how, how it, it's receding through the years and uh, also very beautiful, a very fantastic setting right here in uh, Jasper National Park. Okay, so this, these weeds down here, um, this and this, um, these are called fireweed. And l earlier in the summer, they would have been really pretty with uh, bright pink flowers and they're really beautiful. Sometimes they just take over complete fields uh, up in the Northern United States, Canada, um, and in, we had a lot of them in Alaska. And so when I lived in Alaska, um, the lo when I first got there, a lot of the locals told me that uh, the fireweed, when it cottons out, and you see this has like some cotton coming out of it, and that over there, that when the, the blooms go away and, and the cotton comes out, then that means you only have six more weeks until the first snow. So I guess we only got a few weeks until snow comes here in Banff National Park. Lower Waterfowl Lake, nestled along the Icefields Parkway, is a serene spot surrounded by towering peaks and lush forests. Its peaceful turquoise waters are perfect for a quiet stop to take in the stunning scenery or enjoy a relaxing picnic. A true hidden gem in the Canadian Rockies. Even though Banff National Park is one of the most wildlife rich areas in North America, our luck just wasn't with us this time. After four days in the park, the only wildlife we spotted was this small group of elk. Looks like we'll have to return for another chance at more wildlife encounters in the future. Thanks for joining us on this incredible drive along the Icefields Parkway. From jaw-dropping mountain views to crystal clear lakes, this road truly showcases the beauty of the Canadian Rockies. We hope this video inspires you to add this unforgettable route to your travel plans. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on our next adventure. Maybe next time, we'll have better luck with wildlife, and who knows what else we'll discover along the way. See you in the next video!